Well, in Vietnam, I'd been in there about three months in the infantry, got moved into a sniper platoon, was given a brand new Remington 700. This is after about, you know, three, four weeks working with a, uh, a, a scout sniper that had a Remington 700 that was getting ready to be rebarreled. So they give me a brand new Remington 700. Now, I carried that rifle in the field every day for 16 months. This thing went through monsoons. It went through 110 degree weather. It went through rice paddies. It went through everything with me. Dust storms when uh, helicopters coming in and LZs. We, we did everything. And, and in 16 months, that rifle never once ever let me down. Never. It always fired. The trigger never went bad. Once in a while, we'd, we'd pull the, the uh, stock off of it and we'd have to re-oil inside to make sure the moisture wasn't starting to warp the stock or anything. Those were wooden walnut stocks and you know enough moisture can warp wood a little bit. We never had the problem if you took care of your weapon it took care of you and the Remington always took very very good care of us. We never ever had a problem with it. And then if you look back 16 months I carry that rifle then I pass it to my last spotter when I'm leaving I pass it to my last spotter, he carries it, his tur, and then 30 years later, the rifle shows up. 30 years later, this rifle shows up, and this kid had read this book that Joe Ward wrote, which was my last spotter, and he had written the serial number of that rifle down, and this kid says, I call him a kid, a young man, a young sniper, says my sniper rifle has the same serial number as, as Chuck's rifle had in this book. There's no way. Once they got to checking on it and did the history of the gun, found out that the, the gun actually came from the 5th Marine Regiment out of Van Law. So that was actually the gun I carried. Now, if you think about 30 years, this gun is still in service and still shooting, still doing a good job. It had been restocked, it had been rebarreled, but it was still performing as well as it did. Now, what more testament can you give to, to a Remington? to have that kind of success with a rifle.